Hello, good evening. Hello, hello. Can you hear me, people? Good evening, teacher. Yes. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Just checking and testing the sound. Okay, so here we are. Hello, Jenny. How are you, Jenny? Good. Oh, she was not listening. Okay. So we're going to let me check with the audio and video. Make sure that we don't have problems. <clears throat> You're about to watch the very last video of this. Okay. Hey, Joselino, how are you? How was the day? Next. Better to yesterday. Let's work. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, next. That's good. Uh, okay. So then we have uh, Oscar is here. Wendy. Hello, Wendy. Wendy, Wendy, Wendy never answers. Nunca me contesta, Wendy. What happened? You ignore me. Hi, Wendy. Are you there? Okay. Hey, hello, Oscar. How are you doing? Hey, teacher. I'm fine. You? All right. But you know, today the weather is uh, very... Very nice. So since yes, yesterday, uh, the, the wind started blowing uh, uh -huh. strong and the temperature has uh, decreased a little bit. So it changed my, my stay of my mood. So I feel like very nice when when I uh, return home. Uh, it's very nice. I, I feel relaxed and nice, yeah. you know, and I remember that on the when I was uh, I was about to uh, to go to bed, it was like a warm, it was uh, horrible. Even yes. if, if it is in December, but you know, it's like. A, but I don't know if this is if the uh, news have reported like like the like the how how do you say that the the cold the, the weather report cold that, uh, the weather report but, yeah uh, uh, yes no I haven't heard I, mean, I haven't heard hear anything about uh -huh. uh, the, the, the point is that today is in is is in fashion to have a, a how do you say that it's a it's a call that that, that we call instead of uh uh of uh how do you say that you remember that a, a long time ago that the uh -huh. weather uh in this uh, season used to be cold but now you know that, that the weather is, uh -huh. is crazy it's yes. crazy right but it's, it's a, for, for many reasons, you know, the warm, um, uh, what do you say, the global warming and uh -huh. all that stuff. But uh, uh, today, like, the point is that there's an, uh, how, how do you say that? It's, it's in, in Zimbabwe to have a, a temporary cold. How, how do you call that? But you what? Know? what? 
to... I mean, talk, talking about the weather. It's like uh -huh. when, when we have a, a cold weather, but it's just for a uh, temporary time. Let's say uh, two to three, between two to three days. Yeah, but this the thing is that nowadays, uh, well, here it's not really cold, right? What happens is it gets, gets uh, let's say, uh, maybe less hot, less warm, or cool, maybe, right? It gets cool. But, you know, well, it depends also on the sensation that other people may have. It can be cold, but a cold temperature maybe is below, I don't know, 17 degrees. Uh, uh, for example, 17 degrees, maybe Celsius could be a kind of cold for us, right? But usually it's cool. Yeah, but it's just uh, some, uh, it's not even as, because we don't have, we don't even have seasons, right? What we have is just a... It's a winter a, and summer. Well, no, it's just a rainy and dry season, I guess, because winter, you know, is the like in the United States or in other uh, countries where they have the four seasons, it's different because they have uh, they have summer, they have fall, they have winter, and then they have uh, a, what do you call this? The, the spring, right? So they have the four seasons. But uh, actually, here in Salvo, we just have the, like six months. It depends on the on the El Nino's, El Nino's phenomenon, right? That it could uh, probably rain less or maybe when it rains a lot, but we don't see the four seasons. We just uh, different temperatures, different levels of uh, uh, heat. I mean, it's like you said, it's a crazy weather that we have now. Uh, before, yes, right? We had more uh, many years ago, maybe 30, 20, 20, still 20, 25 years ago, we still had kind of cool weather in Santa Tecla. So the winds in October. Okay, so that was nice. For example, just a quick question. Where uh -huh. do you live? Have you yeah. felt the, the, the change of the, of the temperature? Yes, yes, it feels. here. I live here in Lourdes and it feels a Is little cold? bit. No, not cold, but it's, uh, let's say, it's, it's not, a, it's not, it's, Kind of warm, right? It says it's not really oh. cool, it's not really hot, but the temperature oh. has gone down uh, oh, okay. a couple okay. of degrees. Wow. Yes, oh, and also, okay. also depends on the you know, here in Lourdes, usually, well, at least in the area where I live, <laughs> I always think that this is like the desert because during the day it's very, very hot and dry, okay, but in the, in the night of 12 p.m. or 1 a.m., 2 a.m., it's very cool. And then uh, if you have uh, uh, the windows open, so then you start feeling, you know, really cool, very nice. Like if you were in the desert, but uh, cold, 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 you, my goodness, probably can feel a little bit in Santa Tecla. Sometimes, you know, it's kind of cold. Okay, but yeah, but the, the temperature in these days is a lot better. The weather today, at least, is being nice. It's been, uh, they call it mild. I'm gonna write it here. This is mild weather. Okay. Mild weather is not that it's, it's not really, it's not really hot. Not really cold, something that you know that we can tolerate and enjoy. Okay, thank you for the brief conversation. That's good, you know, so that we can practice different topics. Right. Yeah, yes, nice. yeah, good. Yes, that's good. That's good. Hello, Carla. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How was your day? What's good? Good. A lot of work? No. No. Okay. Fine. So, did you cook? Yes, the dinner. Okay, the dinner. Good. Are you a good cook? More or less. <laughs> do you, and do you like cooking? 
morning lesson. <laughs> All right. Okay, that's nice. Okay, good. Jorge, do you like cooking, Jorge? Good evening, teacher. Oh, yes, good evening. I am. Okay. You know that usually when I ask this question in groups, sometimes more men say that they like cooking than women. Why is that? Or why do you think is that? No, because I like cooking. Probably I like cooking, but you know, in, not all the time, right? So maybe that's why. Uh, but you know, probably when you cook every day, maybe you feel tired, right? Or, or stressing or boring. Yeah. But you know, when we cook, you know, on and off, on and off, you know, sometime, sometime it feels good. Okay, nice. Hello. Let me see now who has that. Hello, Michelle. Everything okay, Michelle? I'm just, I'm just, I'm just checking on the ones who ignore me because Santa Claus is not bringing anything to those people who ignore the teachers. Okay. Then, uh, Sarah. Hello, Sarah. Hello. Good evening. Okay. Ready for Christmas? Yes, I am. Okay. Good. Are you going to cook something special? Um, I don't know. Okay. Maybe. A party in your house or something planned? Mm, we don't have uh, planned something already. Okay. So, but you will maybe. Huh? You, you probably yeah. will. Yeah. Okay, good. All right, people. So I'm going to, well, we're going to introduce yesterday. Remember, we we're talking about there should be a low, uh, there should be this, there should be that. We know we are always looking for uh, things that we consider might be a good idea, right? For example, the, when you say hey, there should be a low for this, probably it's a good idea, but we don't know if it's possible or if something like that is going to happen, right? And usually it doesn't happen. Okay, but uh, that's uh, when we talk about, for example, the ideas. And there are some other cases in which probably is a strong necessity, right, to, to have some lows. But let's listen to the video and see what this lady says. Of course, we hope you enjoy them. We suggest for you to keep on watching and practicing your language. Hi, I'm Kai Nagata. I'm a television journalist based here in Montreal, Canada, and I'm also a lifelong cyclist. Right now, cycling is getting more and more popular in Montreal, with 10% of all commuters getting to work by bike, like me, and city officials want that number to increase. More bicycles means more bicycle traffic, and that means sharing the road. There's lots of opinions about how pedestrians, cyclists, and drivers should act and interact in the city. Let's find out what people think. Is there anything Montreal could do to improve things for cyclists? Yeah, well, I think the city should try to expand the system of cycle paths. One thing I learned this morning is that one shouldn't drive against traffic <laughs> because that's a problem. Sometimes there are corners uh, where drivers just cannot see you coming and so you should really try to avoid driving against the traffic if possible. What advice do you have for cyclists in the city? Cyclists should have their own bike lane and drive towards the oncoming traffic because they will be able to better see what the other parked cars are doing, whether they're driving or parked, the cyclists will have more control. What do you think drivers ought to do to help keep cyclists safe? Drivers should always check their rearview mirrors before opening their doors so that they don't hit a bicycle that's coming up behind them. Do you spend more time driving or riding a bike? Driving. What do you think Montreal could do to encourage cycling as an option for people? Uh, maybe education, maybe some restriction to driving downtown. 
So maybe making it harder for drivers. Right. right. That's the nature, the human nature. What advice would you give people who are cycling with children? There should be a law that says all children starting from age six should be educated on the rules of bicycling. What do you think of the idea of kids wearing bike helmets? I think they should, but a lot of them won't. What do you think the city could do to make cyclists even safer in Montreal? Um, I think it, it would be best if bicycles and buses were not on the same street. Why do you think that? Because they're not compatible. The bus is very large and we're uh, very small and not protected, but we drive approximately the same speed or on the same path. What do you think cyclists should do to help keep themselves safe in traffic? Be more aware of both automobiles and pedestrians. I think uh, there are ways in which sometimes we cut corners in terms of moving through traffic, um, particularly moving traffic. I think cyclists need to be aware. What do you think when you see cyclists riding around with headphones in? I don't think it's the best idea. Uh, you have to be alert. Um, you don't often need your ears when you're cycling, but every once in a while you hear something that indicate something that you didn't see and I, for safety reasons that I think you know I'd like to listen I'd like to bike and listen to music too but if you're gonna do that I think you should do that in a park what advice do you have for cyclists in the city people should never wear Walkmans or iPods or whatever uh, while they cycle because a lot of cycle safety has to do with listening what advice would you give people who are cycling with children I think cycling on the sidewalk is fine uh, with kids. Uh, I think most pedestrians are at ease with it. Uh, you know, look here, look at how wide this sidewalk is. If you have young children who are just learning to cycle, I don't see anything wrong with cycling on the sidewalk along here. What's your impression of Montreal as a city for cycling? Cyclists should take a bigger piece of the city and play a bigger role in the city. And I think that uh, Drivers and even pedestrians should relax a bit about cyclists. Cyclists are good for cities. Wherever bikes and cars share the road, people are going to have opinions about how they ought to interact. Montreal is no exception, and we may not have solved all the problems yet, but we're working on it. I'm Kai Nagata reporting from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Okay. What are some uh, because a lot of cycle safety has to do some ideas you heard about this. Safety to keep on watching. Okay. They use a lot of should, they should, they should. Also, they shouldn't, right? What are some things that you heard about in this uh, in this video? Any expressions that got your attention? They are talking about the... Do you feel like your English... Uh-huh, yeah. About... Between... Uh, uh, between uh, listening. What... Wait, sorry. That's... What advice would you give people who... Second, give a second, yes. Okay, sorry for interrupting. Go ahead. Okay, and they are uh, talking about what is the better uh, transportation. 
in in the city. Okay. And in which oh, moment do they in use Canada? Uh huh. Yes, Mr. Lino, repeat, please. The traffic of Tarkan, the uh, downtown is from the traffic Canada. Down, downtown Canada, right? Okay. Yes, yes. About the, the, the use the bicycle. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what are some uh, some things that they recommend, suggest, or think that they are a good idea? Because they, they suggest, they give some ideas about some some things that will probably work better. Okay, that they that will improve probably the the transportation and it's going to be safer. Okay. What are some of those ideas? I could see teacher. Uh-huh. That they don't know that they don't wear safari helmets. Okay. Many of them. Uh -huh, just... Although in the city, they respect cyclists more than in other places. Okay, yeah. That could be a, one one uh, possibility, I'll... right? Yes. For me, I have a sport to use the helmet, bicycle. Yeah, I so like it. And I like that sport. Do you like bike? Do you like biking? Yeah, I have two bicycles. Wow, that's good. How often? The you... de ruta. <laughs> okay, mountain and route. And yeah. how how often do you go biking? Uh, every Saturday or Monday in the morning. Saturday and Mon and Monday, or Sunday. Monday, Monday, Sunday, Sunday, okay. Sunday. Pardon. Sorry, Saturday, sorry. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, because Monday the traffic is. Sorry. <laughs> so Saturday and Sunday, Sunday in the morning. Okay. How many how many kilometers do you bike? Six AM. And how many like uh like a, a fifteen. See like a fifteen. Fifty or fifteen? Fifteen, sorry, fifteen. Okay, fifteen? Fifteen. Like uh fifteen. Okay. The for example from, like, from uh -huh. here from my place. From my place uh, on the Suchitoto city. Uh huh. And we come and we come back after a good and a few pusitas. Okay, but you go you go from San Salvador to Suchitoto. It's San Martin. Ah, okay, from San Martin. From San Martin, ah, Suchitoto. 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 Ah, okay, and in Suchitoto you have the pupusas and everything in the morning. Yeah. Okay. Coffee, coffee. <laughs> coffee, chocolate. Uh, okay. Coffee. Yeah. Okay. Good. Nice. I like this. Yeah. Well, you don't like this. Thank you. You like you like the pupusas. <laughs> huh? You prefer the pupusas, <laughs> no, no biking. Huh? Yeah. No, the two, Ooh, right? Pupusas. Yeah. No, I know. I know. It's not that they sell this. I have tried it. Yeah. I have tried those. Beans and cheese. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Excellent. Okay, good. So then, yes, you see that, for example, I think uh, biking is a real great sport. It's also a good uh, means of transportation. Uh, the problem here, the, the bicycle is safe, right? But the, in El Salvador, the streets probably, you know, are not adequate for that, right? And, uh, and also the the traffic is too heavy sometimes for for bicycles, and then uh, if you're going in slow, people are stressed. So it's a it's sometimes in some areas in some hours, the traffic is is a jungle, right? So and it's dangerous for you know for the cyclists too. Okay, now I'm going to play the video again, but now you will read the captions. Okay, now. Please pay attention in the sentences where you see the uh, the use of watching food. and practicing your language. For example, hi, 
I'm Kai Nagata. I'm a television journalist based here in Montreal, Canada, and I'm also a lifelong cyclist. Right now, cycling is getting more and more popular in Montreal. Look at this. Cycling is getting... You, we're going to see this later. This is structure. Cycling is getting more and more popular. This is using the comparatives to, ex, to explain or to speak about how sometimes things are increasing. Okay, for example, cycling is getting more and more popular. So there is a change in popularity, right? So cycling in Montreal is getting more and more popular. With 10% of all commuters getting to work by bike, like me, and city officials want that number to increase. More bicycles means more bicycle traffic, and that means... Okay, it says more bicycle means more bicycle traffic. ...sharing the road. There's lots of opinions about how pedestrians, cyclists, and drivers should act and interact in the city. Let's find out what people think. Is there anything Montreal could do to improve things for cyclists? Yeah, well, I think the city should try to expand the system of... Okay, this is one. And it says... The city should try to extend the system. Okay, what it says. Cycle paths. Okay, try to expand the system of cycle path. So this is the cycle path or lane. Let me write here in the chat. Okay, say so for example, lane. This is a bike lane okay or like this guy says here for example cycle path okay this is the the piece of the street that should be given okay given to the cyclists or the bikers okay the bikers One thing I learned this morning is that one shouldn't drive against traffic. Yes. Who's that teacher? I heard teacher. No. It was my imagination. Yes. Oh, yes, Rosalina. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I can see, uh, we, we see the space of road bicycle in San Benito, San Salvador. Uh huh, correct. Uh -huh. Also in the uh, on the road to El Puerto de Libertad, also near the mm -hmm. what is the name of this near, near Banco Fomento, right, Margot? There is also uh, a lane for for bicycle, but and that is for bicycle or motorcycle, bicycles, right? Bicycle. Okay. Yes, and then uh, yes, no, motorcycles are the ones who sometimes invade that area yes uh -huh. you can see that one in san benito there is another one there in the uh, the road to el puerto de libertad right near the el principito to that area Merliot. so it comes from uh it's bicentennial park so yes. you know, there is a there is a path okay so that's one right kind of safe yes thank you <laughs> because that's a problem. Sometimes there. This is another one. Look, in the other, the first one was something positive, right? And here it says, uh, one shouldn't drive against the traffic. Okay, this is what happens sometimes. He said, this morning is that one. The one thing I learned this morning is that one of me shouldn't drive against the traffic because the traffic is coming this way. And then the, sometimes the bicycles are going the opposite way. So that's why he says, shouldn't, okay, we shouldn't drive against the traffic. <clears throat> because that's a problem. Sometimes there are corners uh, where drivers just cannot see you coming. And so you should really try to avoid driving against the traffic if possible. What advice do you have for cyclists in the city? Cyclists should 
have their own bike lane and drive towards the oncoming traffic because they will be able to better see what the other parked cars are doing, whether they're driving or parked, the cyclists will have more control. What do you think drivers ought to do to help keep cyclists safe? Drivers should always check their rearview mirrors before opening their doors so that they don't hit a bicycle that's coming up behind them. Do you spend more time driving or riding a bike? Driving. What do you think Montreal could do to encourage cycling as an option for people? Uh, maybe education, maybe some restriction to driving downtown. So maybe making it harder for drivers. Right. right, that's the nature, the human nature. What advice would you give people who are cycling with children? There should be a law that says all children starting from age six should be educated on the rules of bicycling. What do you think of the idea of kids wearing bike helmets? I think they should, but a lot of them won't. Okay, this is what uh, Ivan, this is what you were telling, right? This girl has the helmet, but you know, also for children, they all should have the helmet. What do you think the city could do to make cyclists even safer in Montreal? Um, I think it, it would be best if bicycles and buses were not on the same street. Why do you think that? Because they're not compatible. The bus is very large and we're uh, very small and not protected, but we drive approximately the same speed or on the same path. What do you think cyclists should do to help keep themselves safe in traffic? Be more aware of both automobiles and pedestrians. I think uh, there are ways in which sometimes we cut corners in terms of moving through traffic. Um, particularly moving traffic, I think cyclists need to be aware. What do you think when you see cyclists riding around with headphones in? I don't think it's the best idea. Uh, you have to be alert. Um, you don't often need your ears when you're cycling, but every once in a while you hear something that indicates something that you didn't see. And I, for safety reasons, that I think, you know, I'd like, to listen, I'd like to bike and listen to music too, but if you're going to do that, I think you should do that in a park. What advice do you have for cyclists in the city? People should never wear Walkmans or iPods or whatever uh, while they cycle because a lot of cycle safety has to do with listening. What advice would you give people who are cycling with children? I think cycling on the sidewalk is fine uh, with kids. Uh, I think most pedestrians are at ease with it. Uh, you know, look here, look at how wide this sidewalk is. If you have young children, who are just learning to cycle. I don't see anything wrong with cycling on the sidewalk along here. What's your impression of Montreal as a city for cycling? Cyclists should take a bigger piece of the city and play a bigger role in the city. And I think that uh, drivers and even pedestrians should relax a bit about cyclists. Cyclists are good for cities. Wherever bikes and cars share the road, people are going to have opinions about how they ought to interact. Montreal is no exception, and we may not have solved all the problems yet, but we're working on it. I'm Kai Nagata, reporting from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Sure. In this uh, context, what does a uh, climber mean? Okay. What was that again? Oh, within this context, what does a uh, climbers mean? Climbers. 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 Uh, uh, from the action, from the verb, climb. To climb. Uh -huh. Yeah, I climbers. guess. Yeah. Where are you here, climbers? Within, this, within this context, what does climber means? I, I don't oh. get the idea. No, I don't know. Where did you hear that? Oh. Yeah, here in the, the, in the video. <laughs> well, what's the phrase? Uh, 
Do you feel like your English learning has slowed or stopped, even though you're still making a lot of effort? That horrible feeling. I don't remember hearing that word. What advice do you have for cyclists in the city? Cyclists should have their own bike lane and drive. Bicycle traffic. Uh, you're still talking about climbers. That is not. That means sharing the road. There's lots of opinions about how pedestrians, cyclists, and drivers should act and interact in the city. Maybe drivers. Drivers, yes, they mentioned. Let's find out what people think. Is there anything Montreal could do to improve things for cyclists? Yeah, well, I think the city should try to expand the system of cycle paths. One thing I learned this morning is that one shouldn't drive against traffic <laughs> because that's a problem. Sometimes there are corners uh, where drivers just cannot see you coming. And... Uh, here maybe. But it says drive. Oh, here, look. No, but it's drivers. I think in the in the caption there is a mistake. Here say our corner oh, oh. where climbers just cannot see you. Uh, no, but he says drivers. Yes. Because that's a problem. Sometimes there are corners where drivers just cannot see you coming, and so you should really try to avoid driving. No, dri Sometimes there are corners uh, where drivers just cannot see. It's where drivers just cannot see. But here's the, the caption that they, when they hear the sounds, sometimes captions have some mistakes because they don't really get, especially when they are generated in, in the instantly. So there are some mistakes like this, but the word is drivers, uh -huh. like drivers, okay. drivers. Oh, okay. yeah, drivers. Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, because climbers has no sense in that one. Okay, good. You see, it's always good to uh, train your ears on that. It's nice. Okay, so then um, let me show you this one. In the next video, there are some ideas. Please pay attention to this set of sentences that you will see in this uh, video, because this is what Hi. we're going to practice. I think English students should be required to speak English all the time. Do you want to give a recommendation or an opinion about this? Stay and learn how. Giving recommendations and opinions. Okay. Here we go. Now we uh, have give, given recommendations and opinions. Now, recommendations could be also, remember a recommendation is a suggestion as well. Okay, because you are letting the person decide whether to accept it or not. Uh, there are levels, right? There are some uh, strong recommendations. That one is not here which is, uh, they are using here, should, shouldn't, and ought to. Uh, should, obviously, uh, and ought to have similar meaning. There is another one that you use, you better, okay? You better not do that. You better do this. So you better is more uh, like a warning. It's always a recommendation, but at the same time, it tells you the, the, the problem. The warning and also gives you the possible effect or result, the consequence. Okay, if I said uh, you better uh, you better go to sleep after class or you will be, or you will be very tired. Okay, you say I've been sleeping a few hours uh, this uh, last weeks. Okay, so you better go to bed as soon as you finish the class so that you don't feel tired tomorrow morning. Okay, so this one is not here because it's more like a warning, but it's always a recommendation. Now look at the three forms here. A cyclist should be required, okay, required. A pet owners shouldn't be allowed, shouldn't be permitted, okay? Shouldn't be allowed or shouldn't be permitted. A people, ought to be required, 
Okay, up to B is similar to should be required. So that means that uh, there is a uh, the recommendation here is that uh, the law or the rules in a neighborhood, okay, require people to do something uh, according to the rules of the place or the laws. Okay, this is when you're talking about something that you consider is a good idea. In the ne next one, the other block, when you think something is absolutely necessary. Okay, when you say laws must be passed to control the noise from car alarms. Okay, I think this is a little bit exaggerated. Uh, people mustn't be permitted to park motorcycles on the sidewalks. Yeah, this one, yes, I think is, is a good one and it's necessary, right? Because the, the sidewalks in El Salvador are very narrow. So we need more space, right? A, a rule has to be made to require cycling lanes on city streets. Okay, for example, a rule has to be made to require cycling lanes on city streets. This is what um, Joselino mentioned, that for example, now there are some uh, lanes in San Benito for bicycles. There is another one that comes to uh, the, the area of uh, uh, Jerusalem in this park, the Bicentre Mayor Park. Then you can go to the Principito, go to Merliot, and then you get to the road to Love the Large Way. Oh, yes, that's another one now that they have, yes. Okay, so you see then, uh, so this is, for example, people math. Uh, what was this one? Uh, be permitted to park more cycles. No, the number three. A rule has to be made to require cycling lanes on city streets. Okay, so then, but then after that, after you have the lanes, so for example, uh, also maybe a law or a rule has to be made to separate heavy traffic, or at least buses or trailers, trucks buses, you know, probably in a different area from bicycles, cars. And I think that uh, cars and bicycles, you know, can live together. Cars, motorcycles, and bicycles. But, you know, cars, motorcycles, bicycles, buses, trucks, and then all this together in the same street. So it's very dangerous. In this case, the the probably the the most fragile the most fragile ones are the the cyclists and the motorbikes. Okay, and the last one says yeah. some, yes. Yeah. Do you think that the, the uh, something uh, will need to be uh, updated or changed? Talking about the insurance uh, insurance companies. I mean. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about when uh, we have car accidents on on the streets. So uh -huh. you know that they take they take uh, it, it takes too much time to, to for them to get to the to the scene. Yes. To, to recover the evidence, and you know, do you think uh -huh. that, uh, that we need something to be done with this uh, situation to uh, uh get this uh, uh, thing resolved quickly? Yes, exactly. That's correct. I guess that now I know that some companies, and I don't know if if they do it for all the uh, insurance users, but now there is an they have an app where you can take pictures of the accident. Well, first you call the insurance company, and then uh, you you report the problem, and then they said, okay, send these images, and then you take the picture, check, 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 and then they. They after uh and then you send them to the company, they have the pictures, they process everything, and then you can you can leave, and and there is no problem. I don't know if all the if all the companies insurance companies are doing the same. Yeah, but I think if they take too much time to remove an accident because they are waiting for the 
uh, insurance company agent or officer comes, you know, to the scene of the accident, right? And obviously the police cannot do anything because they have that legal uh, issue, right? So, but I, I don't know if now they can take pictures or something. And they they also write a report, right? The, the police always has to write a report, okay, the, uh, to, to give it to the company. But yes, they should find a way, a way to remove those things faster. But yes, to, to let me know, to let me know that once they uh, take the pictures to send them, I, are they able to, to move their cards quickly? Yes, yes, that's what a friend told me. That oh, after that, okay. he, he sent, they asked him for some uh, information, how the accident happened. And, and actually, the other guy, the also the guy who, who hit my friend, who hit his car, uh, he gave him the, the driver's license. He took a picture of his of the guy's driver's license, uh, his driver's license, all the documents. He sent it, and, and that was it. But in that case, you know, because the, the two parts accepted, right? The guy accepted that he had hit the car, and the other guy said, okay. And I think they both had the insurance. And then after, you know, they the two insurance companies... Uh, make the, the connection and they solve the problem. Okay, I guess that it's easier when the two parts, when the two parties have the insurance. Okay, but if they don't, I think it's more problematic. But I'm, uh, because you know, if, you, if I hit a car and I don't have insurance, so I have to pay, sometimes I don't want people who, who don't wanna pay, don't, don't want to accept. And that is the problem. And that is when they have to wait. Okay, anybody can help us with this topic about it, the insurance? Anybody knows? Do we have a lawyer here? No? Okay, so then that's what I know, Oscar. So then I think it's possible, right? But people have to, we have to be more careful also, more conscious about it. Okay, let's see. What else do we have? Well, remember the three parts, right? The three sentences should be required, to be allowed, up to be required, to give a positive idea. And when something is positive but very necessary, then we have something more str stronger, which is must be. Negative mustn't be permitted. Has to be and has got to be are similar. Has got to be is British English. Okay, and has to be is American English. Opinions. When you think something is a good idea, cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Pet owners shouldn't be allowed to walk dogs without a leash. People ought to be required to end parties at midnight. When you think something is absolutely necessary. Laws must be passed to control the noise from car alarms. People mustn't be permitted to park motorcycles on the sidewalks. <clears throat> A rule has to be made to require cycling lanes on city streets. Something has got to be done to stop littering. In this lesson, we will use models plus B plus past infinitive to give recommendations. Okay, before Something we continue, questions about this vocabulary or expression in these uh, seven sentences? Are, are they all clear? Uh-huh. What are the meaning, uh, meaning uh, leash, uh, without leash. a leash? leash? Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you know that the, when you have a dog and you walk your dog in the street, you put something around here, uh, okay. but the, the string, the long string, that is the leash. Okay, okay. You. so you have the collar, okay, and mm -hmm. then the, and then you hook the leash in the collar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Thank you. 
Only, right? Yes, the other ones are. Okay. Now let's listen. Something has got to be done to stop littering. In this lesson, we will use models plus be plus past infinitive to give recommendations. When we give opinions, sometimes these opinions might be stronger than other times. When we think something is a good idea, we use should and ought to. And when we think something is absolutely necessary, we use must and have to or have got to. So if I present these two sentences to you, are you able to understand the difference? Number one, cyclists should be required to wear a helmet. Number two, cyclists must be required to wear a helmet. Okay, you see the difference in the two sentences? The difference in meaning. What's the difference, Marlene? Teacher? Yes. Mm. The first one is a suggestion or recommendation. Mm -hmm. And the second one is an obligation, a requirement. Yes. Okay. You know, yes, it's, it's true. It, it must has a lot of uh, connotations, right? But remember that whenever we use must, is in terms of authority, obligation, a strong necessity, right? A strong necessity is also an obligation. Uh, the, the the difference is that sometimes obligation sounds more negative, but you know, for example, it's an obligation to eat. Okay, because if we don't eat, we die. Okay, so it is a, but it's also a strong necessity. So in this case, yes, you're right, Sumara. Thank you very much. When we're talking about this, can be a suggestion, and the other one is like sounds like an order, right? That you must be required. So then, that you want to be very emphatic. Very good. The first sentence is an opinion, whereas sentence number two is absolutely necessary. It's pretty much a law. Hi, I want you to give me one reason for and one against about the following ideas. The students should not be allowed to translate or speak their native language in class. Type your reasons on our discussion box. Okay, so we have here some. I don't know why they are red. Okay, so the first one we have is people should be allowed or shouldn't be allowed. Should not. Should should have, be. Three, have three forms here, right? Shouldn't be allowed. Okay, so then we're going to use the, uh, we're going to copy and paste this one because of the apostrophe. Okay, the other one is mustn't be permitted. This one? Companies to require to give should be required to be required to give workers periodic breaks yeah it should it's a good idea okay just uh remember right you need to say b you say should uh you can say should allowed or shouldn't allowed when you're talking about present but here you're using the passive voice. Shouldn't be allowed. So that's why you were using be in the verb in past participle. Okay, should be required. Number four. People to have pets in high rank apartments. Should not be allowed. Should not. B. 
cloud. Hello. Okay. About five. Shouldn't be the reader. Okay, stand test. Well, shouldn't. This one is going to be wrong because the apostrophe. I'm trying to find maybe, yeah, maybe this one works. Shouldn't. Okay, science shouldn't be permitted, right? Okay. Loves. The number three is wrong. Number three? Number three is wrong. It's wrong. Why? Oh, oh, how to be required. Ah, okay. Yes, uh, companies ought to be required. After, okay. Oh. Number six, logs. Must be passing. Must be passed to ban the sale handguns. Okay, must pass. Okay, and then number seven, the sale of fur products. Should be the leader. It should. Yes. Well, no, I don't think it's positive. I think it has to be negative. Yeah. I was thinking about using must. Because there are a lot of uh, laws against um, killing animals for the fur, right? So I think that and actually many actors and actresses who used to wear these kind of products, they are not wearing them anymore. So the sale of our fur products, I don't know if it is mass. You know, like mustn't. Not really sure about this one. If I go to the extreme, I will use that one. Something about number eight. Number five is wrong. Okay. Hang on, the number eight. Should be permitted. Okay, should not. So should be. So be. Should be. Should be. Should. Negative. Uh, uh, yeah, Negative no, in the. Shouldn't. No, you are in number number. I mean number eight. What's the number eight? It will be done. Okay, it should be done. Yes. Okay, now here you can see the options. Shouldn't be allowed. It must not be permitted. Ought to be required should be required or must be required, the three. That's what I was, you know, thinking depends on the, what they are want, they want to intensify. Okay, so then here. What does the number, the, the numbers mean? Number five says, have got to be permitted. Okay, scientists. To use um, anime for research. Yeah. Okay. Uh, good to be familiar. 
Uh, you can use I have got to must not be. But you see, this is the problem. Uh, should not be permitted, must not be permitted. The to use this sentence in this exercise is going to be sometimes difficult to find the answer according to the test because the person who wrote it had an idea. In my case, for example, when it says science scientists shouldn't be permitted. Okay, that's my opinion, right? That I don't think is good that scientists use animals, okay, for uh, for experiments. But if you see the first sentence here says, have got to be permitted. This person is making emphasis that like if it is very important for scientists. So then you see, that's why there are one, two, Uh, three, four, five, six, six possibilities. Okay. But the only one I say shouldn't be permitted. Science, I, scientist. Uh -huh, because I use science, I wrote scientist. Yes. And we're not supposed to write it. Okay. Should not be permi permitted. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Now the last two must not. So shouldn't be permitted to be, must be, and so must not be instead of allowed. Number seven shouldn't be permitted. Uh huh. Or mustn't. Also must not. Or should it? Must not be permitted. Again, this one we can use to be done. To be done. Okay. Uh huh. Could you explain the number two, please? Must, mustn't, uh, the apostrophe is a uh, it. No, no, no. This, is a, this is a mistake. This is another <laughs> this is a mistake. Uh -huh. uh, but the system is correct. Yeah, because remember that uh, the person who uh, who created the test made a mistake and this person wrote or typed here uh, the mistake. <clears throat> if, I had, if I had access, access, access to the administration, I could change. And I could use here, for example, massing using the, this T. Debería estar in between the S and the T. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's why, according to the system, it's correct because of this. Teacher. Yes. What is the difference with oath and must? Because it's the same meaning, right? And... To, no. Up to is like a suggestion, right? Uh, you say it you... must is like a, an obligation. Mm -hmm. Correct. Yes, it's like a stronger. Mm -hmm. Up to is similar yes. to should. Mm -hmm. Up to is similar to should. Mm -hmm. like you should. You should go. You ought okay. to go. Mm -hmm. And must is okay. stronger. Stronger, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yes. Now, uh, so here, the correct one should be must plus N plus the apostrophe plus a T. That would be the correct, right? Oh. But if we use that one, it's going to be <laughs> incorrect because the answer is written in an incorrect way. 
<laughs> okay. Yes, this is a yes. Like I, in my, type of mis mistake. Case, no, no. You couldn't yes. do it. You know that that's. I mean, no. yeah, I understand because for you, I can see the answers, but in your case, you mm -hmm. can. So it's almost impossible that you can find the correct answer. Okay, if you try to write only uh, with the post, with the contraction, you will never find this answer because it's mistaken. It's not correct. Okay, then you can probably remember the correct form, but to remember an incorrect form is going to be impossible. Okay. Good. Now, for example, like you said, if I click here, it's going to be wrong. Mm -hmm. The correct is wrong. <laughs> okay. Yes, mm -hmm. thank, you. thank you very much. Okay, but now you have the correct one, right? Even though you have to write in your answer in the platform, uh, the incorrect, you know that is a mistake. Okay, people, so, well, this was good. Then uh, please, for tomorrow, it, we're going to practice with the structure, right? So we're gonna work in, in groups so that we can practice the should, should and should be required. Uh, we're going to create some conversations also. So be prepared to with vocabulary and expressions so that we can have some uh, oral practice. Uh, let me see before we go now. So we have here Francisco, Giovanni. Present teacher. And we have Hector Ivan, yes, here. Hector, Hector. Okay, so we have Ivan Ibrahim, yep. Jose Manuel. Present teacher. Jorge Alberto, Jose Lino, yes, yes. Julio Cesar, Carla Lena, Carla René. Present teacher. Yes, Carla Present. René. Now I mentioned you, Carla, right? Carla René too. Yes, I hear you. <laughs> Present teacher. Good, Catherine. Catherine. Present teacher. Hey, Luis Eduardo, Marlene, Marlene, and Present teacher. Uh, Melissa, Michelle. Okay, I think. Present. We... Okay, you're here now. You were at work. Neftali, Oscar, Alexander. Present teacher. Present teacher. Oh, there you go. Okay, yes. Then Romeo, Oscar, Obdulio is here. Romeo, Sara. Present teacher. Yes, Romeo, Sara. Present. Sofia, Xiomara, Jenny. Present teacher. Okay, good. Okay, so don't forget to study, right, for tomorrow. So we're going to, to practice and okay. practice all the vocabulary. Okay, so have a very good night. And say, see you. Good night. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, teacher. Okay, bye bye.